Okay, so I don't usually do these um, unboxing videos, especially being as um, the first week of every, of every month is my day off, so, well, my week off, and, you know, I'm into my week off for this, but I couldn't help myself. Um, this has been a long time coming. This was supposed to uh, release the same time, you know, Undertale was released on Switch, but um, because of one of the manufacturers of one of the items, the shipping got delayed. So, I finally got mine. Let's... The, let's open this up and see what we have inside. Um, so, come on. There you go. Uh, uh, one of the um, dog stickers from Undertale. Um, and I got a message on Facebook as soon as I started recording. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. So, you have a little pamphlet here of just like a bunch of Undertale stuff they have. So there's little figurines, you got uh, plushes, and um, I think that, wait if I can, get, if I can find my finger, oh, I'm, I'm pointing on the opposite side. Um, that one I think I've actually got with this, I should have at least, and it's just like got all the posters and different types of stuff they have on the inside, that is actually quite nice. Um, what do we have here? So it's a little card with Frisk on the back in a field of flowers. And we have Artist, a quality designer fan gamer, fangamer.com so artist series. Uh, golden flowers, they must have uh, broken your fall. Oh, it's actually from when Frisk first falls into the underground, of course. Two gold letter. Find more of two gold art on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash underscore two gold. So yeah, if you like this, go to their Twitter, they they should have a lot more. Um, yeah, oh, this is nice. Like, that is something I'm, I'm probably going to get framed and, like, hang up on my wall at some point. That is nice. But my favourite thing in this entire thing is a gift wrapped this. And the gift wrapping is so cool. Like, so, you've got the hammer. You've got Game Boy. You've got a rocket that might be a rocket from Pikmin. Um, bananas, I might be a um, reference to Donkey Kong Country. Um, probably power up, uh, random, you know, generic, but uh, all of it, uh, question mark, generic diamond. Uh, hey, listen, yeah, anyway, um, you got Navi from Legend of Zelda, uh, hearts, pro presumably for also from Legend of Zelda, um, NES controller, like that, power up, debuff, or maybe whatever. Uh, highly in shield, you have you have Pac-Man there. Um, you have a generic sword there. You have Mario's hand glove from Mario Paint. You have um, uh, two ghosts from Pac-Man. There's one there and one there. Well, there's probably a bunch more cards from Mario Kart. The lightning power up from Mario Kart. Highly in shield, Pac-Man himself there. Um, let's see what else can I see. Um, an atom, ran, a generic key. You have a little Tetris there, and the, I've seen two types of Tetrises on this. I've seen that one and just like the T-shaped one. Um, what else is it? Oh, over here you have cogs. That might be uh, oh exclamation mark. Solid snake, uh, skull, generic skull. Anyway, those cogs might be like um, Mega Man because um, in Smash Bros, Mega Man's like logo is just gears, I think, or cogs or whatever you want to call them. Got a little star there, it could be a reference to Kirby. Got a Yoshi egg. Oh, this is just so full of Easter eggs. Uh, Mario warp pipe there. Ah, oh, that, yeah, like, just so many references to video games. Like, seriously. If you've, if you spotted any that I haven't, post it down in the comment section. But yeah, I am going to open this with the utmost care. And very carefully just break into it and try to not stab myself in the process yeah because i got my own knife to do this to open packages with so just gently cut it open And 
going to speed this up a bit because there we go. Okay, so let's see if I can get out like that. I'm thinking maybe not, so I might have to just jump it and. Ah, uh, I damaged you a little bit, but not too bad. Oh! Second layer! Yay! Uh, exactly the same as first layer, so let's see if I can do a better job on this layer. Oh, I think this is actually just a bit. Yep, yeah. wow. I think I may have actually accidentally stabbed the game then. Or whatever's inside this. Oh, I haven't stabbed it thankfully, but oh, I'm actually glad we opened this one first. It's the art book. Oh, and it's got a golden dog in it. Yeah, like the dogs in this game is like the second biggest meme in all of Undertale, probably. Third, actually, Sans is just like a meme machine. Third biggest meme. Like there's, there's Sans. There's, um, oh, what's, what are the names? Oh, the, 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 chi the chippy, the, um, the, 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 the dog-like guys, but they're not dogs and they talk human, but it's like really messed up, like human, so it's just like really weird kind of stuff. They're the, they're the second biggest memes and then there's the dogs. So let's have a look here. I'm not going to look through it all, but oh. Okay, wow. So this is actually Toby Fox made the basic layout in MS Paint. Yeah. Original sketches for the layout of ruins. A few people have picked up on this, but the ruins and the idea of being trapped in the underground world as a whole were inspired by Brandish on the SNES. So let's just flick through to a random uh, Papyrus's room. He is quite a meme. But yeah again he did this in MS Paint. Oh my god that is beautiful. Look at that! <laughs> and look, there's just the beta MS Paint. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to go through all of this at some point and just like. Oh, and then you have the characters, you have Papyrus, you have. Oh my. Oh, I'm just gonna be flicking through this forever. Oh. Oh, look at that! Oh, I love this kind of stuff. Let's, oh, hello. Ah, oh. So yeah, you have more MS Paint stuff. Yeah, that, that is really nice. Like, so far this is my favorite thing in the in, in here. Undertale art book. Okay, but time to get into the meat and potatoes. Same wrapping paper, but we have wrapping stuff. Um. I guess I'm going to make my entrance into... Okay, I'll see if I'm about entering through the side this time. See, oh yes, entering through the side is the way to go if you want to um, do minimal damage to the wrapping. Oh, and I forgot it. Yeah, but look at that. Minimal damage. And, oof. There we go. Oh. What's this? Uh, I think this is just a, a couple of things they threw in just to be like, hey, sorry for this taking so long, because we have, um... Another one from the art. Oh, we've got D DK by the same person as as um, Frisk, and we have this little sticker, which is cool. Um, 
Now time to get this out of here. So, and try to not stab myself again. Well, another again, but you know what I mean. You know, try to not stab myself. Now I have accidentally cut myself a bit. Once. So yeah. Oh, that is nice. I don't know if it'll show up in the video. I can sort of see it. Look down here. You can see like buildings. That is really nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, that is nice. Ah. So yeah, it comes packaged like that. Let's get into it then. So, at the top, obviously we have um, the locket from the actual game. Well, it's not, it's, it's not the actual, you know what I mean. It's an I it's based on the ooh, item in the game. And this is actual gold. It is actually quite heavy. Oh, I do love gold. It is my favourite colour. Um, so we get open this up. Little music box. Um, it's how I wind up mechanism. I presume there will be. I don't want to break it though. I'm just being really, like hesitant to do anything. Oh. Ah. Oh, wrong way. That is, that is just amazing. So I'm just going to have that going on in the background, I guess. We have Undertale on the Switch. Because it's best. This box is actually quite heavy on its own already. We have a little Undertale handkerchief. With all the main guys, we have Napster, we have Napster Blog, we have Sans, we have uh, Toriel, we have Undyne, we have um, Alpheus, we have uh, a Flower, and then Flowey there, we have Metaton, we have uh, Papyrus, um, and that's actually a character that I haven't seen myself, but I have heard of. Come on, out you come. And, of course, uh, Undertale soundtrack. Right. I just saw that and was like, yeah, this game. So let, let's have a look, look at this. We have um, Sans on the trumpet, Toriel and a floating head. Uh, that's probably the siren. I don't know. Uh, on vocals back there, uh, we have Metaton just being him, and we have um, Undyne on the piano, and then in the other room we have Napsterblock working with Papyrus doing vocals, and the, the Alfie's on the saxophone. So let's get in here and uh, where's man? Where's man? There we go. So, my bed is a mess now. Yep. Spin new round, right? Well. So, we have two discs. Two discs in the usual Undertale style of being. Uh, very well, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Just some letters. Um, where were we? Uh, yeah, we did the handkerchief. Ah, uh, yes, we was on to here. Yeah, and it's come with this little thing. So let's have a look at this. It's music falling down. 
Yeah. Yeah, actually, that's lyrics. Ironically, this uh, this I uh, know this is actually notes from um, Toby himself. Ironically, this is one of uh, many songs in this booklet uh, not to be originally composed for Undertale. I actually actually created this for a fan album called "I Miss You" as uh, an attempt by uh, at creating an original game over theme. So yeah, you you have the sheet music. It's quite cool. So yeah, wow. So if you know how to play instruments, you could actually. Wow, that's actually quite cool. Uh, so we have the sheet music and notes from uh, Toby Fox himself. He even wanted to say Scott Cawthon, but no, he made Five Nights at Freddy's and Undertale. Yeah. So, let's get this all away. Right. So that's in there. Okay, let's get you. There. So yeah, this definitely. If you are a big fan of Undertale, this has got a lot of stuff for you to just like flick through and just like, oh, and just learn about Undertale. So I'm just gonna put that back in its box. Um, the art book was on its own, so yeah, that can go on there. Um, so I'm gonna put the soundtrack on the back there. Well, now we're going to have the handkerchief, not upside down. And nothing else that. And the game. And then that. And then that goes in there. Maybe a month ago, I think. Yeah, just a bit. Stuff or whatever it is. Yeah, on the Tale Collector's Edition and the art book. Oh, and then that can go on there to stop it from falling out. Yeah. On the Tale Collector's Edition. Um, the number of players, one. So, yeah, they haven't added any formal multiplayer. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller compatible. Um, wondering if you have epilepsy or have had seizures or blah blah blah. Wait, it, everybody ten plus, you know, and you get the art book. Yeah, so that is that. Now, while I'm here, I might as well make this all one video, um, just because. So, I want to add a display capture, okay, and I'm going to have to shrink that down, you can see it's annoying when it just does that, there we go, shrink that down, uh, so while we're here I'm just going to make adjustment, oh, no, what? Well, I don't know. Uh, can I move that? I can move that. Put that there. On top of all the wrapping. Ow! I want to move the wall. Ah, that's quite hurt. <laughs> anyway, um, timetable. Um, so. Where is it? Here we go. Wednesday is usually Super Mario Galaxy 2. But well, we've hit a bit of a roadblock in... Um, I have tried for hours and hours and hours um, to be it's the per to do the perfect run and I'm having a bit of, uh, with bit of trouble with it. So, here's what's going to happen. Undertale will be on Wednesdays now. And that wants to be there. 
Um, that can go there. And we'll actually do that. And that. There we go. So, Wednesdays will be Undertale. UT for short. Um, on here. So, this is just like what I do to clean this. And the live stream series. Um, okay. That's supposed to be a PB. Alright, yeah, no. I'll just leave it like that. His being, I think it's supposed to be like um, shorts for um, what do you call it? Anyway, um, paladins. Um, I'm just gonna press enter here, and my main so uh, Super Mario Galaxy two one hundred percent. That will be now um, as a live stream series. So, whenever I feel like it, so it could be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, um, as long as it's not the first week of the month. I, if I feel like it, we will be having a go at that. Um, I need, why did I need that? The first to the eighth. Uh, seventh of every the first to the seventh of every month is my week off. Um, so yeah, I, I can still play the years on my week off, um, but I don't bet on it. Like, it's only if there's something I really want to put out there. Like, um, the only ta reason why I did it this time is because I just didn't want um, the video that I left off for my. Um, short break. What I didn't want that to be focusing on a negative subject, which I'm not even gonna mention here. You can go watch it. It's not an old video. It's just like the third. If you go onto like my channel, it's like the third one. Anyway, um, but yeah, um, Undertale will be replacing that, and I will be doing two runs of it. The first run will be genocide. Um, just. Uh, for two reasons. Firstly, it's the shortest one. Secondly, um, if you do a genocide route and a pacifist route, Sans can still tell, Sans will have um, unique dialogue. Um, you know, if you've done a genocide one, so I want to show that off. Um, second reason, it's the shortest one of the two, so I'll just do that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, there we go. Ah, and we'll move that. So, I'll see you guys on the 8th, which will be this Monday, um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you Monday for whatever I want to upload. Right, yeah, Monday, what I want, Tuesday and Wednesday is, so Tuesday, I think that's um, Taz Wanted, Wednesday will now be Undertale, Thursday will be what I want. Friday will be free to play Friday, Saturday will be Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and Sunday will hopefully be a pixel art Sunday, that's if I remember to actually, well, it, heck, even Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is a bit iffy because I'm stuck on a bit, so it'll take me a while to get past that, um, and, um, pixel art Sunday is just like, I, I've been missing out on that recently, yet. I just haven't been bothered, yeah, I really should get back into doing it, but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys Monday for why, wherever I decide to upload. Bye-bye.